Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Now today, uh, I'll just be making a follow-up video on my last one that was Komodo's detection and removal capabilities, their cleaning essentials. Now today we've got the same system. Now as you can see, it's all the same pieces of malware that I had on that system. I just restored back to the snapshot. I haven't done anything else. It's the same system infected with the same pieces of malware. So, as I, as you guys might be thinking, some of you, that the system was too badly infected to be actually cleaned. I know many guys will be thinking that as too harsh on Komodo cleaning essentials, because something infected with virus and salady probably can't be cleaned by an application like uh, any removal application you basically just have to use a rescue disk yeah a rescue disk is recommended but today we'll see how another application which i think is better equipped to deal with a situation like this does and that application is kaspersky so i'll be back when i get the kaspersky removal utility okay so i just grabbed uh, kaspersky's cleaning tools and this is hundred and well I think it's hundred and twenty three there you go hundred and twenty three max now you have to install this before you can actually use it so okay this is strange looks like the malware is kind of causing some problems and running off Kaspersky so I'll just try this again Okay, so I did get Kaspersky up and running successfully in safe mode. That was just some problem. So, all I had to do was get a new version. So, let's see. It's all it's saying is that I'm in safe mode. And I think, uh, how can I update here? I've never used this application, but I'm pretty sure that it does have advanced disinfection technology so it's not telling me to do anything else so I'll just hit start scanning and by default it's going to scan system memory hidden startup objects and this boot sectors so I'm just going to do their automatic scan and so it's the same system the same threats only a different solution so let's see if it does any better than what Komodo did so I'll be back when the scan is done well here we go this is the first detection by Kaspersky virus removal tool and it is the virus. so now it asks me if I want to perform their advanced disinfection this is something which I think is pretty useful in cases like these when you've got a patching virus so let's just see uh, if Kaspersky succeeds in removing this so now it's going to do another scan and it's basically going to shut down everything in my system and just try to disinfect this so that nothing, is, nothing will be able to run right now if I try to open up something. So this procedure is pretty nice, only it takes a lot of time and uh, you can't use your system. so. You can complain about that but it's pretty useful procedure now this is another thing that is infected with the virus now there you go you get two options to disinfect it or delete it now this is what I think the Komodo application did the cleaning essentials so this is highly not recommended because when you've got a system files this might not be one but you've got a lot of system files that are infected then if you're going to delete them, your system might not basically start. So, as you can see, they recommend the disinfect option, and that's what I'm going to do. So, let's see if it succeeds in doing the cleaning. So, I'll be right back when this is done. Well, the scan just finished, I mean the removal, and my system's restarting right now. So, let's see what we get.
Well, let's see if we get that black screen again or will it be anything different? So now we're booting into normal mode and so far it's blue. So now you get the nice spinning wheel and welcome. Let's see if there are any improvements or is it actually worse as it was in Komodo's case. It did disinfect a few threads but I'm pretty sure it's still stuffed with malware this system. Okay here's the good news that the computer did start up after Kaspersky did its cleaning. So at least it did better than what Komodo did in its smart scan at least. And I'm pretty sure it disinfected a couple of threads and as you can see my system is working a lot better now. I still got task manager disabled. There's still a lot of problems in the system. But as you can see I'm able to at least navigate around a little bit. Which is better than how it was earlier. So I'm going to try run it again and we'll see what else happens and if, if it detects anything else. So it's installing now and I just wanted to let you guys know that the main purpose of this video is to demonstrate the fact uh, that a system infected with Virate or Solidity can be cleaned with an effective application without actually having to reformat or use a rescue disk. As you see in this case Kaspersky did succeed somewhat in removing at least the virus from my system. And I did detect a couple of more files, the Solidity even, I'm pretty sure it's disinfected both patching viruses, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to run this tool in normal mode at all. So it certainly did a lot better than what Komodo did. Another main purpose of this video is just to let you guys know that Kaspersky uh, removal tool is also a pretty useful application in cleaning computers. I've seen people recommend Malwarebytes, Dr. Web, uh, Komodo Cleaning Essentials, but very rarely do I see any video on the web or anything like that that actually uses Kaspersky's virus removal tool. So I wanted you guys to know that this is also a pretty effective application in cleaning an infected computer. In fact, it's a lot more effective than Komodo or Malwarebytes that just delete things. Now, this advanced disinfection can come to a lot of use sometimes, like Dr. Webs. So maybe when it comes to internet security, Komodo might have just well be the best. But when it comes to removal, Kaspersky and Dr. Web certainly rule. So I'll be back when all their scan is done and I'll show you guys the results. Welcome back guys. I just did another reboot and this time I'm pretty sure this computer is a lot better. As you can see, just one problem with Kaspersky something, but no major error messages, no black screen. I still don't have my task manager because Kaspersky doesn't, uh, this version of Kaspersky's removal tool just doesn't do anything to system anomaly, anomalies or anything like that. It doesn't actually repair some problems with your system. I don't know if it might do that but it just didn't do it this time but as you can see the system's a lot better and now I can use something like Malwarebytes uh, that will probably be able to run right now and I can clean the system totally. Now the, both the patching viruses have been uh, disinfected and as you can see I'm still there and I can still see my desktop and Hopefully my CPU cap isn't going up that much right now. I think you can feel that. 
So let me just try to open up Frost Explorer and see if it opens. I still got a lot of infections. Kaspersky only removed the major ones. And I still got some Trojans running around, some maybe some downloaders and stuff. And now, okay, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, by default, I had this Anfi antivirus on the system, and that's how it got infected. But anyway, that's not my point. So. I don't have to use this. This is just removal test. So let me just try to get Process Explorer started. Well, I just got Process Explorer started, and as you can see, we haven't got a lot of stuff running in memory. Yeah, I know we can see a couple of stuff. I'm pretty sure there was one here, but it seems to have terminated. Now, we might just be seeing something. Yeah, this might be one. And this one's just not refreshed. It's just running the tool. That's why it's there. But overall, if we take a look, the system is a lot better than how it was some time ago. Uh, when I, before using Kaspersky, I could barely use this, but right now I can run some stuff, try to get this fully clean, open up some of my testing tools. So it's a lot better, and I think Kaspersky did a pretty good job. Uh, if I would have done a full scan, maybe it would have totally cleaned the system. Of course, you can't totally clean a system with just one application, but it did its part. It, it's got rid of the solid E and virus viruses and my system still stable. So right now I can just use Malwarebytes or something like that to clean this up totally. But that's the something else. Uh, I think as for the review of Kaspersky is concerned, that ends here. And as you saw, it did a lot better than Komodo Cleaning Essentials, which just totally screwed up this machine. Now Kaspersky has uh, restored it to functional state. So it did a lot better, and since I never see people actually using this Kaspersky removal utility, I see a lot of people use Dr. Web, other stuff, but uh, this is a pretty useful utility in case you don't know about it. Uh, please try this, it might be pretty useful. And so in case you've got a badly infected machine and you're looking for some solutions, certainly check this out, it's doing a good job right now. Uh, a lot better job than some of the other ones and its advanced disinfection technology can be pretty useful in some cases like this. So you can check out Kaspersky if you want. So I guess that's it for this review. Kaspersky certainly passed this test. As you, uh, the main objective of this test was to see if it could get my PC back into functional condition and that's what it did. That's exactly what it's done. It's got it back in functional state. So I guess you enjoyed this review, oh, hope you did because some of you might not have liked the last one. So another thing is that you can basically just clean a system that is infected with something like Fibrit and Solidy. Many people think that all you can do is format your hard drive, repair your installation of Windows, but as you saw I just used this one utility and those two big the viruses are gone. So hope this video helped you and just have a nice day.